What's going on, YouTube? I'm back here with another banger for me today. I'm telling y'all, I'm coming back with the videos. I'm coming with straight sauce videos. I'm giving y'all all the sauce in every single video. Every single video I post, I'm gonna give you a free game, free sauce. No, I'm saying that. So that's why y'all should hit that like button and literally subscribe and post notifications on right now. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best ways to market your clothing brand so you can be more successful. Your clothing brand could literally skyrocket like mine did because my clothing brand reached 60,000 uh, new accounts this summer on Instagram, past drop, and that's just on one drop. No, I'm saying so. If y'all want these tips on Instagram, Instagram, IG ads, literally everything, TikTok ads, how to run IG ads. Best ways to market your brand, just keep watching this video, you know what I'm saying? Because it's free sauce, you got like button, and literally subscribe. Yeah, let's get straight into this video. First, let's peep this setup real quick. You know I got my MacBook. Let me know if y'all want a setup tour, because my setup looking a little... Yeah, so yeah, let me know if y'all want a setup tour down below. And yeah, let's get straight into this video. Best ways to market your clothing brand in 2023. My brand last drop did five figs on one drop alone. So yeah, let's get into this. How to successfully market your clothing brand in 2023. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be helping y'all today. I'm gonna give y'all a free game. I'm gonna be telling y'all a bunch of ways on how to market your clothing brand. Cause my clothing brand, you know what I'm saying? I'm 15 years old and my clothing brand doing well. So yeah, basically I, I got some knowledge. Really, if y'all wanna, if y'all wanna get that good and basically learn, learn, and learn yourself you're still gonna learn a lot you know what i'm saying while you're marketing learn what works best for your brand because the way i market might not be good for your brand because the way i market is how i market and that's how my customers see me but what my, i might do might not work for you that's why you gotta basically just what i do into what you what fits best for you if that makes sense you know? just gotta figure out what's your like your go-to what's best for your settings your budget so yeah get straight into this video so the first thing you want to do right you can't market and have a bad product Add Ads don't like even if you have top tier marketing i've seen a lot of people go through this people will not buy it if the product is bad like if your product is bad it doesn't matter how good you market it it still sucks at the end of the day it still sucks so you don't want to have a bad product get a good product literally good everything you want to make sure your product is clean your product is literally top tier your product must be a hundred percent your product can't be 50 percent but your marketing is a hundred percent your product got to be a hundred percent and your marketing got to be a hundred percent because if it's like balance off the scale then it's not going to do good everything has to be a hundred percent good your product can't be bad so yeah so there's a lot that goes into marketing there's tiktok videos instagram and like a bunch of pop-ups like you go to pop-up shops shops everything so i'm gonna be explaining everything to y'all so let's get into tiktok and how you can market on tiktok so obviously you want to post videos on tiktok you want to post videos on tiktok instagram everywhere and every social media and literally you want to make your product look like it's dior or like it's balenciaga or something even though it might not be balenciaga but you want to make it look like balenciaga you want to get a good setting like you want to maybe go outside put your products on the ground and take pictures over you want to get a good camera use your phone if you have like a good phone but like i would try to invest in getting a camera because cameras do like this camera be shooting so many good pictures for it you just basically want to set up your product really nice so it catches all of the details make sure the colors is popping make sure that it's great lighting you want great lighting in every picture look if you have bad lighting it's not really going to make the colors pop if you have a lot of colors people be buying off of just the colors and stuff because the the colors are what makes it pop. So if you make a purple look like a really nice purple and somebody likes purple, they're gonna cop the purple because the purple looks amazing, you know what I'm saying? Like the sun be making the colors look amazing, the details better, everything looks 10 times better when you have good lighting, good camera, a good backdrop. So that's the first thing. You wanna have a good setting, good setup. Set up to make your product. After you're posting the TikTok videos, you want to post every day for on TikTok, two to four times a day. Make sure you, you have a clean setting, no nothing dirty because you don't want your customers thinking you're a dirty person. Get creative with marketing. You want to show off everything, bro. Your brand and like what your brand has to offer and what your product has to offer as well. Because you know what I'm saying? If you have a good marketing and the product is if the product is good and your marketing is great, literally you're you're gonna have a great job. With a little bit of luck too. Cause it do take a little bit of luck. I ain't even gonna lie. It take a little bit of luck. Thing is, everybody be following trends, but like, trends isn't really like good to be following. Like, if that makes sense, it's better to create your own trend than to follow another one. So like, if you're thinking, oh, I need a TikTok idea, like think outside the box what somebody has not done. Because if somebody hasn't done it and you're the first person to do it, then that video is going to get a lot of views. And once it gets a lot of views, that's going to get more people to your brand. You want to set trends, create trends, even with your products. So you want to create product trends. Person that made the puff print trend, you know what I'm saying? He he probably ran up a bag. The first people to always do the first thing is make is always the one that makes the most money. So you want to always try to think outside the box from like stuff that's new that you've never seen before. And literally, once you get that, then it's going to go because people like what they haven't seen before. If they see like a casual Y2K puff print, then you beat, I ain't even gonna lie. I remember I used to do Y2K Puff Print, I ain't even gonna lie. 
my Y2K buffering. Bro, I hated Y, I still hate Y2K. Y2K is so bad, bro. Like, not like the stars and everything. Like, I just hate like the little circle with like, it just sucks, bro. I don't know why people be doing Y2K, bro. Prioritize making your own ideas and being creative. You could follow trends, but like, if you really want to be up there on top of everybody, you want to create your own trends. You don't want to follow trends, as always. So yeah, find what works best for you. Don't post, well, slideshows do work, but it depends on what type of sli slideshows they are. So yeah, you could just do that. And also TikTok ads as well. You don't have to. I wouldn't run TikTok ads and IG ads if you're like on a budget. If I had to choose IG ads or TikTok ads, I would choose IG because IG ads be working way more. From my experience, I, I like IG ads. IG ads be working more because I like my, like my whole brand is off IG. So if a lot of people's on my Instagram and that's my main platform, then that's good because that's my main, main platform. So yeah, I would do IG ads if you had to choose but yeah tiktok ads they they work obviously ads work you just gotta have a good marketing and good um good ad settings i don't have any ad settings for tiktok but i do have good ad settings for instagram so if y'all want my ad settings any point in this video i'm gonna be telling y'all my ads and you gotta watch the whole video through you know what i'm saying and also when you're making tiktok videos don't post anything that you personally wouldn't want to watch you know what i'm saying what i do when i post tiktoks i literally put myself into my target audience shoes so my target tar target audience is anybody from like 15 to like 21 or like 20 you know what i'm saying the teenager this this generation based on my whole target audience so yeah i would like post videos i would know people would like to watch and like it would look good to my target audience's eyes put yourself in their shoes would you buy from a brand that product is bad but their marketing is good just put 100 percent into every everything that you post and put 100 percent into it don't post nothing that you personally wouldn't watch because if you wouldn't watch it and you're basically your target audience why would your target audience watch it if you wouldn't even watch it yourself so edits is also good too people be posting a lot of edits edits on tiktok edit of like their brands and stuff i i, I be posting edits on my brand them videos be blowing up so yeah, if you want to get more exposure just post edits and stuff edits and tiktoks post two to two to three times a day so yeah that's it for tiktok now let's get straight into instagram bro because instagram is where everything happens that instagram Instagram with the magic happen. First things first, you always want to have your Instagram set up professionally or like have a good layout. Cause people like what's good to the eye is what people will shop with you for. So if your Instagram account looks all neat, it looks your product is right here. You're setting up your product amazing. So you basically want to be posting on Instagram. I personally like to post every, like if I have a lot of colors and let's say I'm dropping in like a week or something and I would post a new color every day for that week until I drop like so like let's say Monday let's say I'm dropping on Friday right and I'm um, Monday I'll post oh black the black hoodie Tuesday I'll post the blue hoodie Wednesday I'll post the gray hoodie and Thursday I'll post the gray hoodie and then Friday I would drop all of them basically that's basically what I would did I introduced a new color every day leading up into the drop point so that's also like a cool little layout you could do basically you want to have your Instagram set up like all neat and stuff I could show you on mine right now as so you basically just want to have your Instagram all all neat and stuff statement brand you know what i'm saying it's neat i got my customers right here so people don't think i'm a scam i got all of my customers if it will load so yeah you want to have highlights of all of your customers and everything these are all just customers and stuff so yeah also people getting your package which makes it look more legit because you are legit and you want people to see that you're legit so basically reposting all your people getting the packages is a way people can see that you're legit and stuff you can see people wearing wearing the hoodies i dropped and yeah you just want to have this is where people purchasing so if anybody if a new customer so if a new customer comes comes and they're like oh does anybody be buying your stuff like can i rely on him to like ship my order they're gonna come to here see all these people buy it and see see me shipping out all these orders then they're gonna be like oh i got they're gonna be like oh i could trust them because he shipped out all these other people's orders, so he's gonna ship out my order basically so you want to gain trust with your customer gain trust with who's looking at your instagram profile so yeah i have mine set up where i have my growth where i hit milestones and stuff you could also have that's like a little cool thing i have me shipping my orders i have people posting their uh receipts so people know that they buy from me and I also have people um, wearing my hoodie. They can also go to their account and ask them, oh, is this legit? Like, and then they'll tell them. So basically, yeah, you just wanna have like a little cool, cool Instagram account to show basically that you're legit. Like nice little Instagram setup. So yeah, I have my people right here. People posting the receipts, uh, order, me shipping all the orders. And basically this one is my growth. I know y'all can see that emoji. Hold on, focus. 
basically my growth. So yeah, that's how I be posting on Instagram. And yeah, my and here's how my posts are. So I was talking about you wanna have your posts, uh, you wanna have your pictures all nice and set up right here and take nice and good pictures. Don't copy mine, but like, you know what I'm saying? You wanna lay your pictures out so they look good, look good to the eye because keep it a book. Would you cop from this? If you seen my account and you seen all these, all these drops, would you would you cop? You know what I'm saying? Literally comment down below would you cop and literally take it, take some inspiration from that and like use it. Like why would you cop from this? Oh, because they have a good um they have good product images, they have good uh they have a, they have a good camera. Their their product images look good. Like this looks professional, nice captions, restock is live with new colors, nice pictures, like I'm telling y'all. You just want to have it very nicely set up for your so your customer can literally build trust with you. And this is what I was talking about every day, my purple color all the purple hoodie so yeah this is also another reason why i dropped this so well because the pictures that i did was amazing see everyday new caption my personal favorite our panda colorway so yeah and also when you post your ig post you always want to have your uh your post set up like layout like this because so they know it's 100 cotton it's nice quality and it ships in three to four weeks literally every time always have that always have some sort of details in your caption or in the picture not in i don't nah in the picture doesn't in the picture in my opinion doesn't really look good so i would su suggest that uh just put like your details about the hoodie and stuff in your instagram post yeah i can see my order drops my order drops right here i've been doing the, uh some marketing for a minute do it for you everything out now so yeah this is basically what you can do and also what you would do for ig ads you would let's say like you're posting one of these right and you would want to run the ig ad like if you're doing pre-order you wouldn't want to run the ig ad all pre-order so let's say you're dropping let's say you're dropping a hoodie on monday you want to have the ig ad running through monday until you're like ending it so you want to put it on a timer what i did i dropped on i dropped on a friday and i ended the pre-order drop a week after so what i did was on friday i put ig ads on all of these i put like like 200 each on all of these posts so six posts 200 here 200 here 200 here 200 here 200 here 200 here that adds up but the sales is gonna what what brings back the money so boom if you put ig ads on all of these six ads uh, 200 dollars each that's you could do the math and yeah it adds up if you, if you want ig ads on all of those and that's more people clicking your website that's basically what i did and i ran it for a whole week so the, at the end of the week day it was new people from ig seeing it and they liked the post they literally liked the post they reposted it because it looks nice you know what i'm saying it looks nice if you see this scrolling down your feed will you will you buy it like cause just because it's all set up and nice and stuff also what you should be doing is posting reels reels is free like you could put ads on reels but i would say i feel like putting the ads on ig on ig posts are better than the reels but i just did both because i wanted to boost everything and reels are also a free way see this one got 20 23 000 views 20, i did a little boost on this one Know what I'm saying like this this is what I meant by editing on TikTok. You want to make like good posts. You want to make good edits or uh you want to make good edits of your product. I'm going to show you this one right now. Few videos like that showing my product showing the colors because i had them out in the sun the colors was beaming the colors was looking amazing i was showing off all the puff print so that's basically how you want to market brand you want to show off your product you want to show the colors you want to show literally every nice little detail on instagram and tiktok literally and the same goes for facebook as well i don't post on facebook i don't really know anybody posting on facebook but people be doing facebook ads so facebook i don't know nothing about facebook ads but facebook ads do work well i've heard from other clothing brand owners but yeah here's just another example of showing your colors like that purple just looks amazing like the purple looks amazing in this video and people seen it on their page and it was like yo let me cop that that looks nice the purple looks nice the puff print is puffing and i was making uh i was posting my tiktok videos these are basically all my tiktok videos but i just uh posted them with no watermark on ig
and it got some views my ig went from before the drop i had 1000 like 1200 and after the drop i had 3000 and you want to post stories too. keep your customers updated through your whole process see i just posted this one uh, about my production ending production will end at the end of this week you know what i'm saying keeping them updated and when you drop you want to be posted consistent on your story so people literally are being updated because there's like three thousand to four thousand people new, new people checking out your account every day from that um from the post ads so you want to make sure they have new updates like this new promo codes new everything literally so it can keep them updated for the time all right so boom i just gave y'all all the sauce i ain't even gonna lie all the sauce on how to post tiktok ads how to run ig ads how to literally make three thousand in one day literally every day for a week so now let's get into the giveaways the pop-up shops i'm sending to hoodies and to influencers so boom giveaways you want to post giveaways on tiktok and on instagram but what you want to do on giveaways though you don't want to host giveaways on tiktok so so what you want to do on giveaways what i personally do is i post on tiktok that i'm hosting a good giveaway on my instagram so that brings that tiktok followers into my instagram followers so how you want to host a giveaway on instagram so you're about to drop and before you drop you want to make an instagram post right make sure it's a good picture of your product in case you want to put an instagram ad on it so if you want to run an ad on a giveaway you could do that as well that'll boost your followers up and your accounts reach will go up more as well which means you'll get more followers and more likes more impressions literally more people once you do that you want to post on Instagram that, oh, I'm hosting a giveaway. To enter, you got to get three rules. Follow you. Make sure that they're following you. To send it to three friends. You can add three friends or to repost it. And each of those equals one entry. So literally, they'll do all of those. And then after you drop, you'll get extra, extra hoodies from bulk. Once you get your hoodie finished, you just announce a winner. And boom, they're going to follow you. They're going to send it to three of their friends. They're going to add three to friends. So that's like total of like, what, 12 people literally coming to you off of one person. So literally, you got to see one person sending it to three friends plus adding another the three friends that's gonna get more them to come to you more and there's just everybody's gonna repeat that and then now your post is literally the biggest post on instagram history literally so yeah dual giveaways for exposure and to get more customers on you so your customers are telling their friends and their friends are telling their friends and their friends are telling their friends so everybody's telling a friend about your brand and that's more money that's more people more customers and customers keep customers long term behind the inside right now customers yeah so that's how you want to post giveaways you can post giveaways on instagram or tiktok just make sure they're telling their friends as entry points they get more entries and then the more entries they have the more chance they have to win so yeah that's are some ways that I, I market and some ways that could actually help you market in the future if you want to take some if you want to learn something in this video comment down below if you learn something in this video i want to see how many people are stuck up to the end if you learn something comment down below what you learn and yeah make sure you hit that like button subscribe and yeah more videos just comment on more videos which i want to see i'm a uh, uh if y'all want me to get more depth deep into ig ads and how ig ads, ads can really help you let me know in the comments so yeah make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and I'm out, bro. Oh, yeah, if y'all want my manufacturer list, it's $10 down below. Link in bottom. And I'm out.